Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> what is up with these dogs? I guess you're tired now after all, hard huh, dog? Messing up my garden and stuff. You done? Yeah, they done. So United played Arsenal yesterday. Let me tell you, right? This is respectfully my opinion as a United fan. Arsenal dominated possession-wise, shot-wise. You know, they had 47 touches in the second half of the game. Arsenal did a very good job, you know. I think we definitely got to give them the credits and respect that they deserve. You know, I think Arsenal this season got a very, very nice squad. You know, they got Gabriel Martinelli. I think he's a very good player. They got that centre-back from, I think they bought from Olympic Marseille. Sa Sabria or something, Sa Sabira, I don't know what his name is exactly, I forgot, but played really well, but United, I don't want to say United were necessarily better. This first half, not really, but we made our chances good. Today is a Tuesday, and welcome to the new vlog, sort of, I guess. I'm still sick, but it doesn't matter, I got my dog right here. Hello, Kaya. My house is a complete mess, you don't want to know. Anyways, uh, what are the plans for today's video? Well, I wanted to switch it up. I don't want to do another reaction video because that gets boring. Reaction videos back to back. I think we can both agree on that, right? Not sure if I showed you the party then. Did I show you this? Yeah, no, I think I already did. Well, anyways, um, Brennan is coming over this upcoming Friday. I spoke to him yesterday. I actually f speak quite frequent with Brennan, actually, believe it or not. He isn't sick. Um, I'm not really sick anymore. It's just more that my throat and my nose is a bit stuck. But that's kind of it. I'm very pleased with the performance of United last night. You know, Anthony with a goal. Rashford, uh, I think two goals and an assist. Personally, Ericsson, for me, man of the match, did it so well. That assist from Bruno Fernandes, oh man, that is to die for. That is what we need. I am currently in my swimming outfit as I think I'm going to go take a nice dip just now. This is something new I've had since last year. This is actually very interesting. Let me show you what it does. Basically what it does, it's a solar panel system which it just uses the sun and it uses the light as the output at night time. So this all lights up. These little light bulbs you see on the side, I'm going to show you right now. This works at night. If you're wondering why there's a whole row of towels here, it's because these tend to bucket everything that passes by them. So I'm assuming you're done right now. I mean look at this pool. Look at big. Why are you licking my camera? That is so odd. That's what you get if you stand in front of my stuff. Yeah, let's go. I'm all alone at the swimming pool. There's nobody here on a Tuesday. I really wonder why. It's such nice weather and everything. We got the sliding thing. Oh, you know what I'm about to do. Haven't been in the water yet. I've actually not swimming in quite some time. Well, that's not true. I had swum with Brendan like a week and a half, two weeks ago. Oh, Lord have mercy. I know why people ain't swimming in there. Oh, this is freezing cold. Holy crap. There's a cap on there. Okay, I just gonna make sure I don't drop my camera, but hey, what's up? Um, yeah, I've actually lost a bit of weight. Can you believe that? A little bit of sickness did your boy some decency. Um, very glad about that, but um, as you can tell, <laughs> the dogs have been amazing this week so far. Like, I've really been enjoying it, but it's also like, damn, I have been getting no sleep whatsoever. Like, holy shit. And I'm looking at myself like this to the camera, and it's like, bro, my mom has always commented, right? that I got nice broad shoulders and she always commented if I took serious and went to the gym I could get such nice shoulders I could should I probably eventually but that's what I want to do on the farm I want to make an own little gym as well on the farm make homemade the dumbbells and stuff like that it's so easy when you live on a farm you have so much freedom and everything it is freezing cold but I'm very excited for Bennett to come over this Friday uh, I can't wait for you guys because if correctly and according to it, we're gonna make a cheesecake. He's never had a cheesecake, believe it or not, and I've had cheesecakes very often. Let's go take a dip and let's go swim. I really, I'm glad I'm making a vlog again. Like I mentioned, I didn't want to make another reaction video. It seemed that the last reaction video did not that good. I wonder why, maybe copyright, who knows. Well, let's go take a swim. Here we go. That is phenomenal. Around 11 a.m. in the morning, 
And it's ironic because now at this time of the park, there's almost nobody here. My neighbor is currently busy. Well, actually for the past, I want to say week, only about a week he's been stripping out all the interior inside of their place. Also, another thing I forgot to mention, I just finished two, three, four days ago playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again. One of the best storytelling games ever made by Rockstar or in general made by any company. If you like wilderness, if you like first person shootings, etc, everything, you're going to love Red Dead Redemption. If you've not played the game, I'm sorry, but you're missing out on some super good game. Let me tell you something. I have really missed making a video like this. As I said, I've been so sick last week. Had diarrhea, puked for two, three days, dizziness. I'm now only starting to regenerate and recover from what I had. I think it's called a neurovirus or something. My little sister's had it for two weeks. Because when I went to my parents about two weeks ago, they were sick and everything. My dad had, I think the Thursday night, he had diarrhea and had to puke all over the place. And Friday is when it for me started with the headache dizziness and uh, everything else so i'm glad i'm recovering it's just a little bit of a you know snotty nose etc but i'm doing better Ooh. we gotta give our credit to ronaldo yesterday his pressing on the former line of the defense of arsenal was phenomenal i don't understand what the sudden hate is towards ronaldo this past couple of weeks you know people saying oh he's all no club wanted him in the transfer window that's not true a lot of clubs wanted him but you got to remember realize Clubs don't want to spend 22 million on a player's salary just alone a year. His salary alone at United is a half a million pound a week. That's about $600,000 a week. That's a lot of money for one player, and you're obviously arguing he's the best in the world. There's no doubt about that. But you gotta remember, teams don't have that certain type of money. They wish to spend it on one or two players. Let's not forget Nottingham Forest, right? 21 signings. Okay, sure, three or four players are on loan, but still, that's a lot of signings. They're not taking this shit down at all. I think Nottingham will stay, but Leicester City currently, man, I watched the game against Brighton. I, I was really rooting for Leicester because this was the thing that I wanted, right? United are in fifth position, right? Playing Crystal Palace next week. If Leicester won against Brighton yesterday, United would have been in the fourth position. Now, I know some of you may be like, it doesn't make that much difference. Well, it actually does. A point and etc. does a lot. I don't know what's going on with Leicester City, bro. They've not signed one good player. They've only signed one player this whole transfer window. They've signed, they've let go of Fafana for 80 million, but they've signed nobody else, which is crazy. It's 100 million on Anthony, is he worth it? We can't really say yes or no because he only played yesterday, but he played really solid. He gets a seven and a half out of 10 for me because of the goal, but I also love this backtracking with the defense. It's sort of a thing that Antoine Griezmann does as well. If you watch Atletico Madrid, Griezmann obviously is on loan from Barcelona and if he plays about 30 minutes they have to pay him like 30 million it's crazy you're probably gonna comment as well Erling Haaland is a beast let me tell you bro I was saying and doubting this dude that now he's gonna be an absolute flop in the Premier League I sincerely respectfully apologize because that man is a fucking beast I can't really swim I want to actually buy a GoPro I've been actually shopping for GoPros yeah, I think I'm gonna buy a GoPro and it's also easier for when I record on the farm I have a GoPro on my chest with a chest strap then I can ride the horse, POV me riding the horse. <sighs> Let's go do some diving, not allowed, but who cares? So I just finished swimming and it was actually quite a lot of fun. That, look how ironic, I'm wearing a white yellow uh, yellow t-shirt and a yellow wool. So I'm just gonna go pack up my stuff now. I'm probably gonna go swimming later this evening as well because I, I really love swimming once in a while when it's really, really quiet. I didn't swim too long because I just don't like the thoughts of keeping my dogs alone for too long. So we're gonna go back to the place. I'm gonna probably wrap up this vlog at that. Maybe speak a little bit extra, maybe show you what I bought today. So see you just now when I'm home. Ah, home sweet home. We're back, gonna go swim later this afternoon. I'm gonna walk the dogs just now. Hey, ah, hello. I told you guys I wouldn't stay longer than 30 minutes, although I didn't maybe keep my promise. Hello, let's go open up these doors. It is so warm in here. Let's open up, look at this. Look, look how cool, I didn't show you guys before. They both pop open, the back door also pops open, but I'm closing it. 
Hello my shit, hello, come here you little silly black dog Yeah, you are a one of a kind, this dog is a one of a kind, let me tell you that And she's just like, yeah, I don't give a shit bro that you're back, I'm just trying to go outside Yeah, okay, okay Don't worry, they got water and everything My place is completely dirty, but it's like, you know what, it is what it is, ain't it dog? Yeah Well, let's end the video here, honestly I think this is best, not making them videos too long not make them too short, but make them interesting. I think this was really one of the most interesting vlogs I've done so far. Like I said, apologies for in advance for not making that many vlogs. I want to specifically only kind of stop making vlogs at the new place. The vlogs are going to be awesome. Like I said, I want to purchase a, not an actual GoPro because it's a bit heavy for a little camera, but I'm going to buy like a rip-off GoPro for like 80 bucks and then the chest thing for like 40. So uh, that's going to be awesome. And the reason why I want to buy it, because like I said, my mom bought a horse it's going to arrive in about two weeks time um, and also not that but it's going to be cool when I have a POV view of me with an external camera um, external microphone in a camera that I don't have to hoard or touch or it doesn't do anything so you know if I do this it's going to be like it's going to be really stupid it's going to be awesome I'm excited uh, I got a reaction video coming up this Thursday or maybe not I'll see but I want to thank you all so much for watching this awesome vlog and uh, I will check you guys Thursday with a new video. Also want to mention an ASMR just now. So stay tuned for that. And also got a mug bank tomorrow. So you better stay tuned. Hey, have an awesome week, man.